Hey guys, it's Tim here and uh, today I'll be reviewing Prospector LinkedIn version, which is a lead generation tool for LinkedIn. Recently, a lot of people have asked me about LinkedIn tools. Well, this is the one that you want to have if you're searching for leads on LinkedIn. Now, what this tool is going to do is going to reveal email addresses for you. It has a built-in email system that you can use. It comes with a content writer you can use to reach out to those leads. But yeah, target leads are on LinkedIn. You can find them with this tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a full demo. Before I do so, I want to mention there is a link in the description in case you're interested in picking this up. Uh, it will redirect you to my website where you can find some coupons. Uh, there's a bundle deal. You're going to get some extras if you pick this up through my link. So uh, make sure to check out that page. All right, let's dive into this. and Let me show you how you can find leads with this tool. So basically, uh, it is a Chrome extension uh, combined with a platform that you log in. So this is where I am logged in right now. Let me refresh this page so that it comes with an empty one here. And... Uh, you install a Chrome plugin. They're going to show you how you can do that. That can be done in a minute. And then the only thing that you need to do is you need to go to LinkedIn. Just log in with your LinkedIn account. And then you need to search what kind of leads you want to search. Now, you can literally search for anything, right? I mean, everyone is on LinkedIn. So you can search for any business. So as you can see here, I already searched for web developer. But let's simply type web and say, okay, what do we want to have? Uh, web design services, web developer groups. So let's say the web design services, we do something like this. Then we want to make sure that we're going to search for persons. Oh, this one's retry search. This is a LinkedIn issue. So what we want to do here is we want to search for people. So I'm going to click on people, and this will give me a list of people. Now, I also would like to get my leads not from the Netherlands. I want to get my leads from the United States. So what I can do is I can simply use the filters, the building filters in LinkedIn uh, to find the correct leads from. I can even go to all filters here and that will show me uh, more filters here as well. But let's just go with the ones that we are having right here. Then what you need to do is at the top here, you can see this Chrome extension. When I click on this, this is the extension that comes with this tool. And the only thing that you need to do is you need to click on this button, start scrapping. And from here on, you can just walk away, uh, drink some coffee, etc. Because this tool will automatically go over your LinkedIn and it will grab all the information. You can see that here in the, in the top here. You can see it's, it's opening all kinds of profiles. And it's scanning these profiles. You also see that right now happening in the background. Um, it's basically, I think it's doing something like a human behavior going over LinkedIn because LinkedIn does not allow to normally get all the information uh, of yeah, those that are on LinkedIn. This tool is able to grab all that information. And once it has that information, you can put that back into the system, uh, into Prospector LinkedIn in your platform, and there you can contact them. So here you can see, you see uh, some information appearing on the screen from all those contacts that are on LinkedIn. So I'm going to pause the video and come back to you after a little while. So I'm back now um, after, let's say, two minutes now that I kept this running in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the process and we can do that really simple by going to the extension again here. And you can see it says people found zero, but this uh, does not mean it has found zero. We're going to see how many it found when I click stop here. So first I'm going to click stop now and this will stop the scraping of all the addresses. And uh, this takes a little while to update here. So when I open this, you can see here, I reopened it and it found 10 leads. Now, what we're going to do, we go back to our convert lead. And in here, we switch to LinkedIn extension here. And when I refresh my screen here, you can see these are fresh leads. What you just saw were the old leads that I scraped before. And when I keep refreshing this, more leads will be added to this folder in here. Now, here you can see these are the leads that have been found. You can see here the founder of Unified Web Design, uh, Web Design Marketing at City First, a business owner at Blaster Web Services. And here you have the website. You can go to their LinkedIn profile. But let's say we want to save those leads. Then what we can do here is we can select those leads 
and we can move them to a folder here. So first we need to select a folder here. So I only have tech companies, local businesses, coaching companies. So let's say we do tech companies in here and we say move to the folder. Now those leads have been moved to that other folder. And again, when I click refresh, you see new leads uh, have been added and we can move them to the folders here inside the system. So when I go to the folders here and I go to tag companies, you can see that now the email addresses have also been revealed. So these are the email addresses that that have been scraped from uh, LinkedIn. So let me zoom out so that you can see it better here. These are Gmail addresses uh, that you can directly contact also here, a business website and here, Dave at Blaster Web Services, etc. So this is just an example of, uh, yeah, web, web design services that I looked out for, but you can search for any kind of company. You can even search for CEOs, etc., etc. Now, what you can do here, here you see also, you can see the engagement like the last post 100 days ago. You can see the address in here. You can go to the LinkedIn profile. But what you can do also here is you can see this email. Now, when I click on this email, I can start sending an email directly to this person through the system. Now, what we're gonna do here is at the right bottom, you can see here that you can generate content. So, um, I can say, for example, introduce our web uh, design services and close uh, with a uh, CTA, a call to, to action. Um, oh, let me type that correctly. Close with a CTA asking if it's okay to call them. Now, and then in here, I can say the keywords, so we can say web design, for example, you can fill out your keywords in here, and then the tone. So you could choose professional, conversational, so you could choose between those. I like to have the professional, and then you can click on generate here, and now it will write an email for me that I can use and send to these contacts. Now, this is going to take a, a few seconds, depending on how quick... Um, Chat GPT is, as you can see here, this is the message here. I'm not going to read this, but this is the message that you can use. You can simply click here on copy off, or you can try this again if you like, but let's copy this message. Then what I can do here is, let's say I want to reach out to Courtney. I can click on this email here and I can paste that email in here. I can even add my own subject line, uh, want to work with us. And then here you have the email. Now you can replace these brackets here, you can say, I want to have custom tags. You can add your name in here of the person that you're going to contact. Uh, you can close with your own name in here. So warm regards here. Uh, you can say, okay, uh, you fill out the details here, the agent. So in this case, you're the agent. And there are some upgrades where you will be able to add multiple agents to this system as well. Uh, and then you can hit save. So I, I accidentally clicked out of sight of the window. But basically when you click save, it will send the email to this person. Now, I'm not gonna do that right now, but that's basically how easy this plugin works. Now there is a plus button here, and this is for those that upgrade. So when I click on this, you can see it gives a little error. They're gonna replace this by an error, uh, which says that you need to upgrade if you like to add this to a CRM. But then you also have to, uh, you will be able to, uh, give statuses like new and follow up, contacted SMS, uh, missed, bad, sold leads. Uh, you can even do more in here. So you can create campaigns and select those campaigns in here. You can select your integrations, you can select agents, etc. set values. Um, but yeah, this is one of the upgrades. You can see this, of course, with the information. You can add some description here. So I'm gonna do test here and I can save that. Uh, no, it's not possible. So this is one of the upgrades if you'd like to have a complete CRM system built in as well. But that's basically how easy it is. You go to LinkedIn, you search for whatever business you want to have, you know, CEO of uh, whatever Google groups, you know, you can search for it or CEO in Atlanta. If you want to reach out to CEOs in Atlanta, you know, uh, you can scrape them and you can add them to the system. Now, one thing that I want to mention is it comes with monthly credits. Um, I think the front end has 2000 credits and that means each saved account. So when you are at the home here, so let me see if there are a few contacts left. No, let me see here if I go to LinkedIn here. Yeah, so 
when the results come in, you don't see the email address. Now, let's say you find this a qualified lead. You can select this lead and then you can move that to a folder. And once you move that to, to a folder, uh, the email address will be revealed inside of the folder here. Uh, as you can see here, Courtney, and then also the one that we just saved. Not sure which one that was, but it's in this list. Then all the email address will be saved and that will cost you an extra credit. And that's basically what this product is all about. It's opening LinkedIn again. Um, in case you're interested, again, there is a link in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. If you have any questions, uh, ask them in the comments below. And please hit a thumbs up if this video was useful. Um, it helps me to uh, yeah, be in the search result of YouTube. Also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't done yet. I do a lot of product reviews similar to products like this, marketing related products. And uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Talk soon. Cheers.